Hey there. Welcome back. You know, it's that time of year again. It's Halloween time. It's creepy time. So uh, we're going to do something different. We're going to read something out that was written before CDs even existed. This is going back to one of the most profound Gothic poems that's ever really existed. This is Edgar Allan Poe. This is The Sleeper. <clears throat> Sorry, I seem to have something in my throat. <clears throat> the Sleeper. At midnight in the month of June, I stand beneath the mystic moon. An opiate vapor, dewy, dim, exhales from out her golden rim, and softly dripping drop by drop upon the quiet mountain top, steal drowsily and musically into the universal valley. The rosemary nods upon the grave, the lily lolls upon the wave, wrapping the fog about its breast, the ruin molders into rest. Looking lightly, see the lake, a conscious slumber seems to take, and would not for the world awake. All beauty sleeps, and lo, where lies Irene with her destinies. Flit through thy chamber, in and out, and wave the curtain canopy, so fitfully, so fearfully. Above the closed and fringed lid, neath which thy slumbering soul lies hid, that o'er the floor and down the wall, like ghosts the shadows rise and fall. O oh, lady dear, hast thou no fear? Why and what art thou dreaming here? Sure thou art come o'er far off seas, a wander to the garden trees. Strange is thy pallor, strange thy dress, strange above all thy length of dress, and this all solemn silentness. The lady sleeps, O oh, may her sleep, which is enduring, so be deep. Heaven hath her in its sacred keep, this chamber changed from one more holy, this bed for one more melancholy. I pray to God that she may lie forever with unopened eye, while thou pale sheeted ghosts go by. My love, she sleeps, or may her sleep as it is lasting so be deep, soft may the worms about her creep, far in the forest dim and old, for her may some tall vault unfold. Some vault that off hath flung its black and winged panels fluttering back, triumphant o'er the crested poles, of her grand family's funerals. Some sepulchre, remote, alone, against whose portal she has thrown in childhood many an idle stone. Some tomb from out thou sounding door, she ne'er shall force an echo more. Thrilling to think, poor child of sin, it was the dead who groaned within. Well, I don't know about you, but that's um, it's kind of creeped me out a little bit. I'm uh, not quite sure what's going on anymore. And ugh! happy Halloween, fuckers! <laughs>